What was the weirdest part of the pandemic? I live a block away from a very busy highway. While I never really noticed the sound of the highway, when it was gone, the silence was amazing. I remember some of the restaurants near me started selling groceries during lockdown. It was so weird walking past a high-end restaurant known for its oysters only to see stacks of toilet paper, six packs of beer, non-perishable foods, etc. in its windows. How the wildlife started walking through towns as soon as the stay-at-home orders took full effect. I don't remember 2021 at all. How fast time went for me, I feel like I lived in a time bubble. Went in early 2020, came out late 2022. Waiting in a lineup outside of the grocery store. Everyone had to stand on a sticker to stay properly distanced from one another and security would wait until someone left before letting another person inside. No such thing as a quick shop during those times. Any type of party on Zoom. Toilet paper hoarding. My personal favorite was how every time there was a COVID spike, a bunch of candles online would suddenly get hundreds of one-star reviews because the candle didn't smell like anything. LA filling an outdoor skate park with sand and arresting someone for swimming all by themselves in the ocean. For mine. It's the photo of the priest baptizing a baby from a distance with a water pistol. Pure absurdity. Sorry I'm too inept to put the picture in here. I got off fairly lightly compared to most re-COVID. My city was closed only for a matter of weeks, nobody I know was ventilated or passed from it so my experience is different to most and for that I'm grateful, while remaining aware of my good fortune. Tiger King When people first started wearing masks and they were sold out everywhere so people had to improvise and create their own weird random supplies from home. Playing Animal Crossing for 12 hours a day. Going for a hike in the woods, seeing absolutely no one but still finding masks littered at the trailhead. When a bunch of celebrities sang a John Lennon song thinking it'd inspire people or some shit. Pretty much every commercial kept reminding us we were living in unprecedented times for a few months and I hated IT. I was so afraid of sneezing and coughing in public spaces cause people normally started to give you some weird looks. Grocery stores trying to get you to follow arrows on the floor. The alcohol distilleries that turned into hand sanitizer manufacturers almost overnight. I regret not grabbing that obvious vodka bottle which was filled and labeled as hand sanitizer, at the gas station back in 2020. It was cool to see all the trends too. Like we all started baking bread and riding a bicycle. It was cute. The politicization of it all. Being an essential worker, and still get shit on, upside down face. All the talk about people being essential, when in reality we were just expendable. How people who were considered essential healthcare, retail workers, farmers had to keep working without any pay increases, while everyone else stayed home and got paid. The rich just got richer too. No one out in public. The utter helplessness I felt having to watch my mother die from COVID through a window in the hospital hallway listening to her last breath on a speakerphone. She died 12-15-2020 the day after the first public vaccine was given. She was ready to wait for the vaccine like it was a TV on Black Friday. Essential versus non-essential employees and the division it caused and still causes in the workplace. Shopping at grocery stores at 6 a.m. and being back home in 45 minutes. Had to follow the arrows on the floor so you weren't too close to someone else. Vaccines versus no vaccines. Making it political. Masks, no masks. Honestly, a great time to be the introvert I always was. Clapping for the NHS to later get pissed off when they ask for a reasonable pay increase. I never understood the sourdough starter craze. We get locked in our homes for a few weeks and suddenly everyone's baking bread? It's not surprising, but I am disappointed at how poorly the governments were prepared. There was no logic applied to anything. What a mess. For me how it further divided American instead of being more of a unifier. Indian bloggers bragging about how India was so adept at handling pandemics because for reasons unknown the initial wave pretty much bypassed India, and then Delta hit. We have a pandemic every 100 years or so right around the 20s, and we've had like 15 years of experts saying that the next big world-changing event would be a pandemic. And then the worldwide medical organizations who monitor pandemics were like hey guys we have a pandemic coming. And people were still like, this has got to be fake why have I never heard of pandemics before? Realizing a lot of people I know are idiots. How all these companies that absolutely couldn't offer flexible working, suddenly just could. And now they want you to believe that they can't again. The double standards. How eerie and quiet city streets were. Even my pups were seemingly taken back by it. They'd keep looking around as if they were trying to figure out where the cars and people were. Every block, every corner. When there was absolutely nobody anywhere. Everything was shut. Everywhere looked like a ghost town. How everyone instantly became an infectious disease expert overnight after fast-forwarding through a few videos on Facebook and reading articles from experts. Yes, of course, your time as an unemployed hairdresser really makes me think you grasp everything that's going on right now and are competent at breaking down the situation and, most importantly, 
how you are going to solve it. I'm gonna share a funny mishap that happened towards the beginning. Mayor Hancock of Denver, Colorado, was giving a press conference about the temporary closure of non-essential businesses. During the press conference, a representative from the city attorney's office took the mic and admitted that, according to the existing legal code, liquor stores didn't count as essential businesses. The result was, of course, chaos. Panicked Coloradans flooded liquor stores, panic buying precious booze while they still could. The legislature scrambled to fix the problem. The codes were rapidly changed to include liquor stores and marijuana dispensaries as essential businesses. But for a few crazy hours on March 23, 2020, prohibition was functionally in effect in the city of Denver. Right at the beginning when everyone made the decision watch Tiger King without consulting one another, the cold flu suddenly disappeared. That people were reminded to wash their hands, even then not many people did or still do. Never in my life I have experienced such peace and tranquility. Probably never will again. Says a lot about how a person would feel without people constantly jabbing at them just because society demands it. The facts that it completely killed 24-hour stores and made Google a completely unreliable source for store hours to this day. Maybe not that weird, but working nights it really enrages me. The use of the phrase social distancing as opposed to physical distancing. Just how long 2020 felt? Longest year of my fucking life man. That nature literally came back in full force and everything got better environmentally. It began recovering right away and everything became healthier. Waters we thought were naturally brown immediately began turning blue. Animals began returning to habitats, plants began to flourish, air quality was completely night and day different. All we did was stop for two weeks. That was it. That's all it took. Working at the hospital and seeing my patients dying like flies, then going home and getting on Facebook and hearing about how it was all fake and overblown. The weirdest thing? That I once thought people would knuckle down and pull together in extreme times. Nope, there are so many dumb and selfish people out there that screech at even the mildest inconvenience. If there's a zombie outbreak, I'm shooting anyone that comes near because COVID taught me that the trope of someone hiding a bite is a fuckton more common than what's in the movies. In many states small businesses were required to shut down for long periods of time while large corporations were allowed to stay open and reap the benefits. The makeshift protective wear people threw together to go out, working in COVID ICU and everyone around me telling me COVID was fake. Meanwhile I was having nightmares every single night and couldn't eat. We lived very different realities. The sudden validation of every zombie apocalypse and of the world media. It turns out that when push comes to shove, people will in fact not act with society's interests at heart. Online classes. How relaxing it was when everyone was keeping their distance like I'd been doing for decades. The supposedly toughest people crying about not being able to get a haircut. Moved to Japan at the end of February, 2020 and was literally blindsided from everything that was going on. Of course I knew there was a pandemic, but the situation was rapidly evolving day by day. One day things were slightly normal, and the next streets trains are empty. With moving to a new country and the language barrier, I had no idea what the heck was going on. Example go to the supermarket to get toiletries since I just moved into my new place, and couldn't figure out why there was no toilet paper anywhere. Eventually, I had to steal some from a public restroom. Felt bad about it, but simultaneously it's funny to look back at the struggle. Walking into a bank with a mask on. How everything stopped except your bills. People weren't allowed to go to work. Unemployment took months before anything hit your account, but the bills kept on. I remember the first week of shutdown our apartment complex let the grass grow to lengths that you couldn't step outside. I sent an email to management expressing my disdain at their lack of responsibility. Their response was to be patient because of the pandemic they couldn't contact a landscaping company. I kid not. They sent a mass email the same week telling residents that they're still responsible for rent didn't matter if your job was shut down or not. Sick fucks. That everyone seemed to forget everything we'd been taught about how germs work, i.e. the hyperactive hand sanitizing. Zero dollars. 99 gallons gas prices. Won't see that anytime soon again. Turning it into a political problem. Feeling like I lost years of my life. Especially since I'm in my 20s, it was extremely jarring. When you could eat at a restaurant but you had to wear a mask while walking in. That was around the time of peak stupidity. Celebrities busting their asses to stay in the front of people's minds, like the level of vanity was insane. How many people absolutely refused to be part of the solution? The pandemic exposed how damn self-centered so many people are. Isolation. It really hurt me. Watching countless companies have their employees work from home, experience record productivity levels, then order everyone back in person at the office anyway. The fact that we've just up and decided it's over and back to business as usual. 
A number of co-workers complained recently about a particularly nasty cold that sounds a lot like COVID but just show up to work like it's all totally normal. A lot of these things are disappointing, frustrating or depressing but not weird, per se. The weirdest part, in my opinion, was learning to recognize people by the top half of their face then having to relearn recognizing them by the rest of their face when mask requirements were loosened. No one ever really looked like you imagined they would either, for better or for worse. And that's on starting a new job mid-pandemic, upside down face. 1. No one could admit we think this is what we should do but we could be wrong and may have to change next week but hey, science ain't perfect, so give us a break. 2. No one could admit wow these people do know some things and they're pretty smart so I'm going to do as they suggest so I don't die, even if I'm guessing without evidence I wouldn't like their politics much. Edit spelling That my sense of taste and smell is still fucked up. Finding people for entering provincial parks or sports fields despite posing minimal to zero risk in doing so. Idiots telling me that COVID isn't real after losing my grandma to the virus. How a majority of people got to stay home and get free money. But us poor peasants had to keep working because apparently rich people still need us. The toilet paper at the beginning it was funny how everyone were fighting for it. I worked fast food in 2020. Somehow that made me essential, because people can't live without their cheap food, so I was expected to risk my life for minimum wage on a daily basis. The fact that isolation was a bit enjoyable in terms of solitude on and off for mental health. When people were bleaching their groceries. People thinking a $2 pack of 6 disposable mask had 5G GPS tracking equipment installed in them. Driving or walking through a major city when it was completely empty. You felt like you were on the set of a zombie apocalypse movie. Honestly, I kinda miss it, is that weird? Um how about watching America Rage Summer of 2020? Restaurants at the door saying masks required but we take them off as soon as we're seated. Wild inflation on shitbox cars. How we all realized some people are really stupid. Next time market the vaccine to the rich and powerful first. Then say you don't have enough to go round. Then everybody would want it. Bam. Highest vaccination rate ever. Clapping for the NHS. Some people were even banging their pans. About one two the people didn't give a shit. Then one day the other half just said fuck it and stopped giving a shit. That early phase where they didn't want people wearing masks to keep them available for medical workers before they finally relented and told people to get masks. Pretending to be bummed out about staying indoors the whole time. Watching the stock market shoot upward while business profits tanked. Being told by British Columbia's top doctor to use glory holes. Finding out how unwilling people are to perform the mildest of inconveniences to help others, and how far they are willing to go to justify this selfish behavior. Being one of the few essential workers who still had to go to work every day even at the height of the pandemic. I legit drove to work at 120 miles per hour every day. Barely ever saw another car. And the cops weren't pulling anyone over. It was awesome. How so many people just didn't care. So many. Honestly it's the aftermath in comparison to how shit was before. Rewatching TV from pre-pandemic is almost like watching something from 20 years ago. No one seems to have a community anymore, nothing feels uplifting, and everyone had three years of their life stolen. The way companies tried to get people back in offices they clearly had no need to be in even before the pandemic. The part where people got bored and decided it was over after three weeks. If you were tested for COVID in my home state during 2020, it's quite possible I personally performed that test. It's so deeply odd to me that I put my hands on tens of thousands of people's nasal swabs that year. Course, it nearly killed me. By the end of 2021 I was ready to pack it in and die, and started making plans to overdose. Clinical molecular labs treated us like garbage robots and they still do today. I'm lucky to have gotten out.